Yes, it's very exciting times because the new generation laptops, they're coming out soon. There's too many benchmarks out there for them not to be coming soon. So in this video, we're going to see some benchmarks of the Radeon 7 4800H with a RX 5600M GPU. So that's an all AMD system versus the next generation i7 10750H and apparently a new 2060 Max-Q, which is apparently maybe the super version. We'll have a look at a benchmark of that. Also, we'll compare a 10750H with a 1660 Ti versus RX 5600 with a, with a Radeon 7 4800H and compare it to this current generation or last generation's 9980HK and RTX 2060. But before I get into that, have a look at this. Woof. Yes, we have i9 109080HK benchmarks. There you go. If you want to know what that means, if you compare it to... The 9980HK, yeah, virtually no difference in Geekbench there, okay? Um, virtually no difference, like, you know, their 9980HK processor, like benchmarks, within margin of error, it's pretty much the same, there's another one there. So, yeah, there's too many entries to think this is a dud, but what we can see here is these are probably engineering samples, so 4.98 gigahertz. Apparently, they're going to go to 5.1 gigahertz, so probably early engineering samples step into, so I don't know what that means. But we can see there's going to be no 10 core, well, at least according to these benchmarks, unless these are red herons and, you know, they're dumped there to trick people. We're not going to 10 cores with the 10th generation 45 watt part. Now, let's have a look at this. With the 10750H, there's some sort of conjecture. Is this going to be 6 cores or 8 cores? Now, people have said, like, if going to own this own, he was told by multiple sources, they're going to be an 8 core i7. So maybe there's two i7s. But this 10750H that keeps on popping up in benchmarks is definitely a 6 core. Now, on the left, we have the i7-10750H, next generation Intel CPU, and what is supposed to be RTX 2060, super maybe, compared to AMD's new Ryzen 7 4800H with RX 5600. Now, if we have a look at these benchmarks, remember, graphics aren't mature, it's probably microcode for the CPUs, and yeah, maybe these engineering samples, but this will give us sort of like a rough idea, now, if we have a look and dig deep into it, what we can see with the graphics score is the 5600 is scoring around 10% faster than the RTX 2060. I don't know what they meant by new, but that looks like old RTX 2060 score for graphics score. But if we go down to the physics test, which is basically a CPU test here, and you have a look there, the physics test, 61 frames per second with the AMD versus 54 or virtually 55 with the Intel 10750H. Now, the AMD has eight cores and 16 threads, so it should win the physics test because that's basically a CPU test, and you can see here it does. So you can see there, if Intel's 10th generation CPU is six cores, it's going to get smashed by this eight-core Ryzen. But it's not that simple. For gaming, it probably won't because the Intel will probably have the higher clocks for gaming. We'll have to wait and see on this. But this all AMD system, 5600 and a 4800H, looks like a mega machine. It looks like it's going to beat the Intel with RTX 2060 there. So we'll have to wait to see for that. But if we go have a look at this Time Spy, Radeon 7 4800H plus RX 5600M versus i7 10750H 1660Ti versus the last generation or current generation 9980HK and RTX 2070 notebook. So let's have a look into that. And the current generation is on the right and it seems to be winning everything. Well, it does have the beefiest graphics card out of all of these. Now remember for Firestrike, that likes AMD graphics. Now for this one here, this test here, Time Spy, AMD don't have that sort of advantage here. And you can see the 1660 Ti actually beats the 5600. Now that may be down to CPU as well. You know, it's a 10750H. Intel CPUs are great for gaming. The 4800H may not be as good as the Intel part for gaming. I, I just think that will be the case this generation. But, you know, as drivers get mature, they're supposed to be early drivers with the Radeon here. So it may get closer to the 1660. But I think I'm going to just have to make a video. If we're talking about the next generation laptops just coming out with, you know, 
10750H, which is the same sort of core count, six cores, eight cores. There's not going to be much difference on the CPU front. If we just go into RTX Super, it really isn't going to be that much difference. Really, what's going to happen there will be a 2060 Super will be as fast as a 2070. It's just going to move up in the stack. Apart from sort of AMD, which is something truly to get excited about. I don't think the next generation Intel, NVIDIA sort of laptops are really that much to get excited about. But anyway, just thought I'd share these things. Yes, go follow that dude. Arrow Game, he's got a good track record. And yeah, he's got some gold in there. So I'll, so keeping you up to date with this, I'm going to get stuck into some reviews now. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.